get the book at asapscience.com. Most of us have experienced the rush of a big scare, the racing heart, sweating palms, and fast breathing. But could these symptoms really be... Boo! Scare you? It's a full body experience and can even feel a little dangerous at times, but could you really be scared to death? Science suggests that today's most common fears stem from the things that most frequently killed our ancestors. Animal phobias like arachnophobia, natural environment phobias like the fear of heights, situational phobias like claustrophobia, and blood injection injury phobias like the fear of needles are the four most common categories today. And these make sense as most have been relatively consistent threats throughout our evolution. As a result, the genes preparing us to instinctively avoid them become more common, while genes that did not faded away. Chances are, if you have one of these fears, you may have inherited it from your parents. Of course, day-to-day -day learning also helps shape your personal fears. At the end of the day, it's not the actual threat, but instead your perception of the threat that controls the amount of fear you'll feel. So could it kill you? The short answer is yes, not to scare you of course. The chances of being scared to death depend greatly on how healthy your heart is. When you're scared, your fight or flight response is triggered and adrenaline is released, making the heart beat quicker to pump more blood and oxygen to your muscles. As a result, you become temporarily stronger and faster. But something really scary can kick this into overdrive. Too much and your heart simply can't keep up, which could damage heart tissue and even stop it from beating altogether. Hundreds of athletes have experienced a fatal rush of adrenaline as a result of simulated threats during intense competition and you're no safer in the stands. Studies found that the number of heart attacks during World Cup soccer matches more than doubled in countries and cities where the home team was eliminated. So should you lock yourself away in a closet to avoid all these fears? The truth is, while scientists don't know exactly who is most vulnerable, we do know that the incidence is extremely low for people with healthy functioning hearts. More food for thought is thought itself. It turns out that training ourselves to think differently about fears can actually reduce the amount of adrenaline they produce. But that's that's not always easy. In fact, our friend Matthew Santoro just released a video on 10 extremely bizarre phobias people actually have, which you should definitely check out. Perhaps you have a fear on that list. Matt makes really amazing fact videos that are sure to blow your mind. Click on the screen to see that video or you can use the link in the description.